Hey everyone, welcome back to Dry Protected. My name is Eric and in today's episode we have this beautiful 2013 Lamborghini Gallardo LP 550-2. We have this beautiful car in our shop because we're doing full vehicle paint protection film installation using our Defense Plus paint protection film. We're also gonna be doing a ceramic coating installation over top of all the PPF and glass as well. In this video, we're not doing any installations. We're not gonna do a wash in this video. That video is to come. But in this video, I'm gonna walk around the car and I'm gonna talk about the PPF that is already installed, why it's not very good, I'm gonna show you some of the issues that are with the PPF, and I'm gonna talk about why I'm not gonna remove it and replace it. And then when we get around to the other side of the car and we start talking about the panels that are not wrapped, I'm gonna start talking about the things that go through my head as a professional PPF installer, things that I need to think about and concern myself with before I get into installing film on this vehicle. Now, this vehicle has paint protection film installed on the entire front end, full hood, the front fenders, front bumper, the A-pillars, and the mirrors. It's not installed very well. I'm not gonna mention the shop's name. That's not the purpose of this video. But I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you what we have to deal with. Just kinda point out some of the flaws. The unfortunate thing is the front end of this car, the hood and the front bumper, have been repainted within the last year, I think it is. And they have PPF on them. And I'm not gonna remove it because I don't wanna run the risk of uh, potentially pulling up paint and having to pay for a repaint. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave that, but we'll make sure everything else looks good. Now, let's get walking around. So the eight pillars are covered in PPF right up until the top of the glass. You can see there's all kinds of dirt and debris underneath the film, including moisture bubbles. The mirrors, a two-piece installation. This bottom piece over here is not wrapped. This top piece over here is wrapped. This very top piece, the mirror cap, is wrapped, but there's all kinds of fingers popping up here that are peeling. These I will remove and replace because this is still original factory paint underneath. The front fenders, they are installed well, but the fenders, the wrapped edges around the corners are lifting up. When we get over here to the hood, we got this recessed valley right over here where the PPF has popped up and it's not gonna sit down. Like that adhesive is damaged and unfortunately the hood has been repainted so I can't remove that. We've got all kinds of dirt particles and specks underneath the film, which that's there permanently. If we come down over here to the front bumper, we got a big massive finger over here that'll have to get trimmed off. There's got a bunch of dirt behind it. We got all kinds of bubbles like that that have popped up. We've got dirt underneath the film over here. We've got dirt over underneath the film here. And you can see the film right along this top edge. Whoever installed it didn't do no post heating, so this is all popped up and collected dirt. This mirror, we got a bunch of fingers over here with the mirror peeling up. When we open up the door, this inside edge on the front fender, that's peeling up. This A-pillar over here, a bunch of dirt underneath it. The A-pillars, I'm gonna be removing them because when we do the paint protection film install, we're gonna be doing a one-piece A-pillar kit that goes from the front all the way to the very back of the car. So at least we will remove that and that will look good. Now the car has no PPF on the roof, which is perfect. And the perfect thing about this car after 26,000 kilometers is there's no stone chips on the hood either. So that's super huge. We don't have to worry about doing any touch-ups. When I come over here and I look at this door, this door, quite complex. When I think of this whole part of the vehicle over here, I kind of think of like the C8 Corvette with this air dam in the back over here. I've wrapped a couple of those. This is my first Lamborghini. I've never wrapped one before and I'm super excited to do this. But I'm just thinking like, okay, so we're gonna have some seams over here. These are pretty high tension areas. You don't wanna do these in one piece because then you run the risk of the film lifting up and it's starting to look really, really bad. I know right over here, we're gonna have relief cuts just to get the film into place here. Um, this leading edge over here is, is quite pitted up with small little rock chips. It'll be hard to pick up on camera. If you look really closely, there's a lot of pitting over there, which we'll have to fix. We come back over here. We have this piece back here. It has a nice, probably a 3 8 inch front facing edge, which could get hit with stones quite easily. We're gonna wrap that, make sure that that's wrapped and protected properly. Coming to the back of the car, we got the engine lid over here. 
This will be a very awkward piece of PPF to install because it's, it's not that large of a piece, but you don't really have many good places to work from. So like from the back here, I can easily install this piece, but when I come around to the side, I have to lean over these panels to try and work here, which is fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna wrap these panels first before I do the engine lid. That way, if I have to lean up against the vehicle, I don't run the risk of potentially scratching or damaging the paint. We got the Lamborghini badge on the back of the vehicle. That we're gonna keep on. Our pre-cut paint protection film software that we're using has a pre-cut option for that. We're just gonna go with that because we don't wanna have to take anything off the vehicle if we don't absolutely have to. Coming around here to the passenger side, pretty much just the same stuff as on the driver's side. We got this front facing edge over here by the air dam. We're gonna have to make sure that that's wrapped properly. We got the fuel cap over here. Yeah, that kind of concludes it. Short video. Basically my whole thought process when I'm doing a walk around video like this, I don't normally do these walk arounds on video, but I'm taking the same approach with this Lamborghini as I would with a Honda Civic, a $30,000 car. Um, actually, they're probably worth more than that with inflation these days, but same approach. Doesn't matter the kind of car, the value of the car. This is the first video of the Lamborghini series. The next video we're gonna be doing is a full vehicle wash decontamination. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you, there's something that you wanna see, leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more paint protection film content.